it's Saturday. That means there's basically just one week left until Golden Demon. And I might be freaking out a little bit. Just a smidge. Um, I think I'll get it done in time, but I'm basically skipping all my work uh, in order to be able to get it done. So there's that. But I'm making good progress. <laughs> um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen a bunch of the stuff I'm going to show you. But we have here the sergeant. As you can see, I have done his face. And he's looking pretty good. I repainted his belt buckle. Not that you can probably tell. Did all of the other bits on his helmet there. Now this wasn't supposed to be non-metallic metal, but it kind of looks like it now. It was supposed to just be like plas black plastic or something, but it's just ended up looking like non-metallic metal, so I'm just kind of leaning into it. Um, yeah, coming out quite well. Again, just held together with blue tack. I don't know, don't know if the camera will zoom in on the face particularly well. There you go. The eye's not great. But, you know, individual teeth. They're actually sculpted into the mouth. Um, I didn't notice this until I looked really close with the head magnifier on. But the, the teeth were actually individually raised and I could see the light shining off the, the little uh, raised areas. So I just managed to dot them with my the tip of my paintbrush and managed to paint myself some individual teeth for the first time in my life. I was quite impressed by that. Um, so yeah, face done. Head basically done. Um, so for the sergeant, I basically just have to paint, whoop, focus, focus, no focus, pock focus. Pock focus works. So I've got a little skull on his shoulder pad there that I need to paint. Uh, these buttons on his arm here. A couple of other little details. I'm doing the little details before I do the guns because one of the things that I find is that if I have to do the little, little details at the end, I end up getting bored and frustrated with them and so I'll rush on them. Whereas if I do the little details in the middle, then I'm actually enjoying them a lot more. And the guns are going to be relatively simple in comparison to everything else and not as fiddly. So I'm leaving those until the end so I've got something nice and easy to round out with. And make sure that I don't skip um, any little details, because the little details actually draw a lot of attention during competition painting. So he's going really well and I have to live up to this head for all the rest of them. But I think I can do it. He's the only one that's got his mouth open. So I don't have to paint more individual teeth. Who else we got? Uh, let's look at this guy. Mr. Reloading Man. Um, his head's glued in now, because helmeted head. He's done the eye lenses, all the little pipes. Wasn't much more needed doing on him. The little Lego bricks on the back of his leg there. So he's basically done. Um, he just has metallics and his gun that are needed and decals and weathering. So he's practically done, so I just put him to one side. And we've got the demolitions guy, the gunner. Who, again, practically done. He doesn't have much else needs painting on him. I haven't really started much on the shoulders or the arms yet. But you can see I've done the piping around the back there, the Lego bricks. Um, the helmet's done. All of those little details, like the little plug socket down there, whatever it is. So I've got his face done. One of the things that I have done, I don't know if you can tell particularly well, is I sprayed some... Uh, armor brown into the neck of the armor there so that they've got a little shadow underneath their heads because it looked really weird just being like pure pure armor green color so I'm gonna save that guy right for the end so the eliminator again belt buckle done you can't really see much of the ribbing on the undersuit on this guy but that's done as well 
Um, got his entire camo cloak to paint, which I'm going to enjoy painting. But that's also most, the majority of painting his head as well, which I haven't started on yet. And I've got that purity seal in there, which I'm going to do today. And the lieutenant has had a few more details painted. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. So as you can see, I've painted this honor down on his leg here. I decided to paint it in bone, the same as the chest eagle, because it just kind of looked more appropriate that way. I also repainted this knee pad into a bone colour with a yellow stripe on it, and I'm going to put some numerals on there for his company. He's part of. I painted, repainted the rope up here, and I painted the skull on his shoulder pad. Repainted all of the piping. And I painted the ore specs. Did that yesterday. Uh, this is based on some reference. Um, if you Google ore specs concept art, then you'll find that this is pretty much the exact ore specs that uh, is in the concept art, including all of the different colours of button. Painted the, hand the grip on the handle of the knife there, but the rest of these black bits are all going to be in metallics. And also got his helmet there, which is bone white with a yellow stripe, to indicate he's a lieutenant, and his mask is also going to be bone white. So he's practically done... Again, it's just guns and metallics that are left to paint on him. So again, Lieutenant, pretty much done. Oh, this purity seal. The scrolls need painting and the screen on his arm here also needs doing. But yeah, practically done. And then there's this guy, the comms specialist. So I painted this little uh, weird little box thing that's on his belt here that I put there. And I was like, why did I put that there? I hate painting dials on things. They're really horrible to paint the dials, but I managed it. And I painted his ore specs, which, can I get it to focus? There we go. So it's a bit scratched up and knackered on the back. And on the front, we have a display screen. There's better pictures of this on my Instagram. Link in the description. But that was a lot of hard work painting that display on there. Um, if you want to know how I did it, essentially I painted the, the screen Caliban green, and then I painted in um, a circle, basically following the top edge, the top circular edge of the display there. I have to use a brushed point. So I followed in here, this edge. And I painted a circle of a lighter colour and then left some of the Caliban green showing. And painted Caliban green again in just to up doing another semicircle. It's not really a semicircle, really, it's an arc, but whatever. Until I had just a very fine line. So I didn't paint that line directly into the uh, display, all of those lines. I instead, I. Painted Caliban green, then Moot green, then Caliban green, then Moot green, then Caliban green, and then Moot green, in order to get those arcs. And I found it a lot easier to do it that way than trying to paint a line that was a perfect circle. It was much easier to do it this way. And then the straight lines I just did, because I can do straight lines. And then there was a lot of tidying up with Caliban green. Painting a little red dot. To, I don't know if you can see it on the t in the video there but painting a little red dot to indicate a heartbeat or something. And then going back in with some white mixed into my moot green in order to kind of... And this, this involved not the 3-0, my size 0 broken toad, which I haven't actually used in a while. I've done most of these guys with my size 1. Um... But I had to use that in order to try and paint an even finer line inside the moot green lines of moot green and white. And I managed to pull it off, but it was absolutely teeth-clenchingly tense because I knew that one false move and I had to scrub the entire thing, but I managed it. Um, it was mostly painting with dots rather than lines because I found with the consistency of paint that I had, it was a lot easier to paint dots 
very tiny dots and string them together into a line than to actually paint a line. So it's actually technically pointillism. Um, and then at the end of it, it was basically just putting some Waywatcher green glazes over the screen in order to try and create a, a graduation from a more uniform colour to a brighter colour out the edge to make it look as if it's kind of got a ping going out. And uh, yeah, then the rest of it is painting buttons, which is actually not that hard. You've just got to be patient and precise. Um, I did edge highlight the buttons. Because I'm a fool, I'm a madman. So yeah, I'm dead chuffed with that Auspex screen. It's the best Auspex screen I've ever painted. Um, might be the best Auspex screen I'll ever paint, because it's a nightmare. The only Auspex screens I've seen that are better um, used decals to get the effect, and that's cheating. So yeah, I think I did quite good there. Um, and yeah, the little Geiger counter or whatever it is on his belt, helmet, and so on. And just do that, there we go. And you can't really see inside there. Fortunately, because it's not as well painted as the rest of it. And his head needs to be primed still. Because I changed my mind about which head he wants to use. And that's it. That's all six of the guys. But where's the seventh? Where's the Reaver, you say? Well, he's over here. And I'm not entering him, because um, I don't think he's turning out as well as the rest of them. And... He doesn't fit into the theme of the squad as much as... Like, he's the only close combat guy in a squad full of snipers, basically. <laughs> um, and I wasn't happy with how his uh, tummy was turning out. And I repainted that four times, I didn't like it. And then I just started to realise, you know, I don't actually just, really just don't like this model very much. The Eliminator fits because he's covered in a big cloak... And even though he's got still got the sneakers, the sneaker pattern armor, these are socks. These are sneakers. I can't unsee it. Um, he still looks like he's more in, in uh, keeping with the rest of the squad. And it means one less model that I have to paint. And after all, the Golden Demon judges cannot judge you on a model that you did not submit. So uh, I'm just not going to do him. But he is going to get painted for the rest of the kill team. Just not. I'm not prioritising him. I think I've got enough on my plate with doing six guys. And to be fair, the only reason I'm doing six and not five is because this guy's basically done <laughs> already. It's like, I've got to paint his gun and the magazine in his hand. And it's like, he's not that much extra work, whereas the Reaver is actually a fair bit of extra work compared to all the others. He's got um, a head that's not got a helmet on. So it's like a full extra head to paint, whereas anyone that's wearing a helmet is much easier to paint than anyone that's not wearing a helmet. So, you know, in comparison, this guy's head's not that difficult because it's some goggles and a hood. I don't have to do any skin tones on there or anything. I just have to paint the, the outsides of the goggles and then the lenses of the goggles. And then it's basically done. And then, you know, just do the hood the same time I do the rest of the cloak. And again, that's not going to be a big issue. I'm not painting the cloak yet because I'm waiting to see how the bases turn out. And then I'm going to try my best to try and match the cloak to the bases. Um, because, you know, it's active camouflage. It's supposed to adjust to the environment he's in. I'm going to be doing them in um, autumnal forest floor bases because it will contrast nicely with all the green. The orangey, red, dark red tones will... Uh, contrast nicely with the earthy green tones here so I'm going to wait until I've got that and then I'm going to try and do a camo pattern that looks appropriate for being on that so I'm going to paint everything else on him apart from the cloak and then basically he gets the inside of the cloak painted which will probably just be painted black yeah, prob yeah I'm just going to paint the inside of the cloak black um, and then he gets assembled, I make sure all of these gaps are filled, which I'll be using matte varnish for. And then I'll go through and I'll do all that, and he's probably going to be the last thing I'm painting, so I'll probably be spending Saturday painting this guy. 
um, not counting his gun. So the Saturday is painting this guy's cloak, and if it doesn't turn out well, I just don't enter him. And it's just uh, five intercessors. So that's what it is. Um, in terms of video content, I'm going to be editing a video on painting the leather for that I painted on these guys. So that leather there, that I'm going to go away and edit as this video uploads off my phone. And so that should hopefully be up for patrons today, um, sometime later today. And then no more video content until, number one, no more um, tutorial type content until after Golden Demon. But after Golden Demon, I'm going to be doing like oh, just a glut of tutorials. Basically, I'm going to try and catch up on all of the tutorials I promised. So that'll be Eyes of the Nine and three different Space Marines. And that will probably all go up on Patreon over the next six weeks after Golden Demon. Because I'm going to be taking... Because I can get to take a big old well-deserved break from painting Raptors to competition standard and I can paint some stuff to regular old tabletop uh, Rob Paints models standard standard. Um, rather than pushing the boat out and spending four hours painting an all-spec screen. For example, it's a really nice day, and I'm stuck inside painting. Oh well. Bye now.